Trial has begun for Tommy Kichichua Fison, one of two men accused of robbing the Days Inn last December, shooting at police and leading them on a wild chase. His alleged accomplice, Irvin Munya White, who's also charged in the notorious Bank of Guam heist, testified against a Fison. He says he just wanted to tell the truth, but Irvin Munya White also acknowledged that he's agreed to testify against Tommy Kichichua Fison in exchange for a plea deal. A Fison is considered the main suspect in the robbery of Days Inn last December, and police say he's also the man who shot at police from behind during a police chase. The two suspects were eventually caught at a home under construction along Father Duenas Drive in Timuning. On the stand, White told police that he and Afaisen had initially planned to rob a bar, but changed their minds when they realized that the place had several surveillance cameras. So the two went to Days Inn instead, where White says Afaisen pointed out that there was only one employee working at the graveyard shift, and he appeared to be distracted on his iPad. White says after they robbed the Days Inn at gunpoint, they fled in two separate cars. Afaisen drove White's truck, White drove the employee's Nissan Sentra. They went down to the Hilton, parked White's truck there, then left in the stolen Sentra. As they headed back to the Days Inn, they were met by police, says White, and that's when White floored the vehicle in an attempt to flee from police. He took several turns and finally made it on to challenge San Antonio. The whole time, they were being tailed by police. White says as they were passing the Golden Motel, he was startled by a gunshot, not realizing that a Fison had shot at police chasing them. At that moment, White says he panicked and yelled at a Fison, saying, quote, what the expletive, dude. But a Fison told him to keep driving. White testified that Afison then took two more shots at police, holding the gun with his left hand. Afison, he says, is left-handed. His testimony matched the testimony given by several police officers. GPD Forensics Firearms Examiner John Takenko told the jury that the gun that was confiscated from the crime scene was a six-shot revolver that had three expended bullets and three unexpended bullets. Officer Tony Borja, who was one of two officers in the police car that was shot at, testified about the chase but says he wasn't able to clearly identify the shooter because it was still dark and they were traveling at a high rate of speed. Another police officer, Peter Polino, also testified that when a Fison was apprehended, he claimed to have been homeless, using the home as shelter. But Polino pointed out that a Fison appeared soiled, sweaty, and out of breath, not like someone who had just been sleeping. Trial resumes tomorrow in Judge Michael Bordalio's courtroom.